Okay, so we are back at it, doing some more calculations all about circles today. We're pretty pretty close to the end of our little circle unit. So first, find the area and circumference of this circle, which I can see the center is right in the origin. So it looks like the radius is 2. So then the circumference is 2 pi r. The area is pi r squared. And I believe for both of these, we actually get the same thing. It's 12.57. Okay, not going to happen often, but occasionally with a circle, you will end up with the fact that the circumference and area are equivalent to each other. All right, so our goal today is looking at circles sort of on graphs. So on a graph for a circle that's centered at the origin, 0, 0, I can use this equation. x squared plus y squared equals r squared, where r is just the radius. So if I look at x squared plus y squared equals 4 squared, I can really think of that as x squared plus y squared equals 2 squared. So that's why the radius is 2. Now, why is it 2 instead of 4? Well, if I look centered at 0, 0, the nice points here are at like 2, 0, negative 2, 0, 0, negative 2 and 0, 2. So all of them are sort of 2 away from the center. It's not 4 away from the center. So we need to be a little bit careful when we're looking at stuff like this. So it really is good to think of it, instead of a 9 here, think of that as a 3 squared, because then I have the radius. That's just 3. And my center in this format, x squared plus y squared, is just 0, 0. And there we go. That's the center and radius of that circle. I can make a quick sketch of it if I need to. I can just use decimals, though. So you're really just kind of thinking to yourself, okay, 49 is 7 squared. So my radius is 7. My center is at 0, 0. Okay, so so far, not too shabby. What if the center is not at 0, 0? Then we need to use this equation. It's still kind of like x squared plus y squared equals r squared, but there's a little shifting. Okay, so these numbers in the parentheses are where the center of the circle is at. x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Okay, so if I have the center, the coordinates are just x coordinates h, y coordinates